We've got a scrimmage tomorrow. Um, it's uh, a little more uh, game-like than what our um, last one was. You know, as we continue to move closer to game time, uh, we have to do more game-like uh, situations. We'll have a mock game next Saturday um, at 11 a.m., just like we'd kick off uh, out in Seattle. We'll do that next Saturday. Uh, but uh, tomorrow is really kind of our last scrimmage of uh, the camp, um, two weeks out from a game, and it'll be our, really our last opportunity to do some live work. What are you hoping to get out of tomorrow? So? Oh, when it, when it's over, it's really like the end of training camp for us uh, because then it gets uh, into game preparation time uh, and getting the bodies back and the minds back and get them to feel good because uh, we've been going uh, long and hard in physical practices right now, so we got to get them mentally and physically uh, back. Uh, but after uh, tomorrow, we hope to be able to solidify uh, our two deeps. On offense, defense, and special teams, hopefully uh, we're closer to naming a starting quarterback after tomorrow. Uh, that would be our, our uh, wish is to be able to get that done at, uh, relatively quickly after we get through tomorrow's scrimmage and get it evaluated and find out where we're at. Laviano appeared to dominate the first team reps today. Will you read it, anything into that? No, it's, it's kind of been that way. Um, you know, right, right now we have to get better at quarterback still. Um, you know, uh, we, we have gotten a little bit better, but we're not game ready uh, by any means. Um, you know, there's still lack of uh, consistency at times with uh, uh, the quarterbacks, but uh, they're, they're every day they go, they get a little bit better at something. Uh, today we had a two-minute drill, and it was the best two-minute drill that we've had in training camp so far uh, for the whole offense, but uh, more specifically for the quarterback. So you know, that was a really positive sign. Will, uh, will Laviano see more work tomorrow with the ones or kind of even? Uh, they'll, they'll, uh, both of them will get reps with the ones. Uh, a lot of it will just see how it's going. It'll be uh, the flow of it. and. If uh, one of them's uh, doing better than the other, it'll probably uh, keep going. Coach, what has the punting and kicking competition been like this year? Um, not very good, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, Michael Cintron's done a really good job punting for us uh, right now. Uh, Tim Gleason is still uh, slowed by a back surgery that he had uh, back in the spring. So he's been limited. So uh, Cintron has really been our punter. So when you say competition, uh, there really hasn't been any because Michael's been the, the only punter that we've been using for the majority of uh, training camp. Uh, the kicking position, Bonagore and Smaller, are both uh, kicking. David is uh, right now our number one kicker. Um, we have a ways to go in uh, that uh, position also. Um, and just you know, If you're asking about the three positions that uh, still need to get game ready, quarterback, kicker, and linebacker are the three. feel really good about the majority of the rest of the team with where we're at right now with the guys that are getting reps with the ones. But those three spots, we still have a – a lot of work to do. At, a, at receiver with some of the younger guys, bang, older guys banged up, have you seen any younger guys step up and seize the opportunity? Uh, uh, one guy that I've really uh, been impressed with is DeCoven Bailey. Uh, DeCoven will probably be a freshman that will play uh, both on offense and on special teams, but he's done a really nice job. He's fast, he's got good speed, one of the faster kids we've got on the football team. So uh, really excited about him and what he's done in the increased reps uh, as we've gone through training camp. He was kind of an underrated uh, guy. Uh, you know, underrated, I guess, is uh, based on who rated him. Uh, when you watch the film, the kid's fast. Yeah, I mean, he's, there's a lot of, uh, you know, people that are under-recruited. I mean, he was recruited, uh, but he, he was fast. Um, Bill Bush, uh, our uh, DB coach, had a connection there. Um, and, uh, you know, someone put us on to him. We watched the film, so it looks pretty good. You know, it looks good to us. So uh, we went down and recruited him. We got him. And uh, what we saw in film, that's what we're seeing out there on the practice field. Very excited to have him. From a secondary standpoint, how are they doing with the press coverage, the cover four schemes, all that stuff? That's all brand new to them. Uh, they're doing very well. Um, you know, our, our corners are uh, executing press technique uh, great. I mean, there's several techniques that we're asking them to do, not just press, but uh, that's probably the biggest change that they've done. Has been asked to do that uh, more than they've been in the past, and uh, it was. Uh, it's been a process, like I knew it would be. Um, but uh, it's one that they've embraced and they've made a tremendous improvements. Uh, I, li I really like where our two corners are at right now. Uh, Isaiah Wharton and, and Bless Austin have done a great job. Uh, they're both bigger corners, uh, run pretty well. Um, uh, have really gotten comfortable with the press technique. And, uh, um, you know, in the spring it was bombs away, you know, when we started doing it. But uh, you just don't see that anymore. How about safety wise? Where have you seen? Coffee, Hampton, the two guys who I guess are probably on the one line right now. Uh, you know, Hampton's, uh, I think, got a chance to be an absolute star. Um, I've been around uh, some really good safeties in my career, and uh, Hampton's got three years to play still. I think he's got a chance to be really good. 
um, and very excited about him. Uh, Choffee's made a lot of improvements. Uh, I'd say the, the biggest issue Choffee's had in the past from talking to him is his tackling. Um, you know, I sit and talk to him about to where, you know, areas he feels like he needs to improve on from uh, previous years. It would be that. He's worked extremely hard, and we've uh, worked him extremely hard to, to get that done. What goes into knighting a player? Uh, a lot, you know. Has he earned the trust of uh, everybody? Does he go out consistently do his job the right way? Does he play with great effort? Does he have a positive attitude? And uh, if we see those things consistently out of a player, uh, then he is uh, knighted, and we remove the black stripe. I think you have 18 right now. Do you need to have like a certain number to be, you know, game ready when you fly at Washington? I hope we got 22. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if not, we got a problem. Uh, but uh, once we get through the scrimmage tomorrow. Um, there will be opportunity to take off hopefully quite a few. There's some guys that are quite a few guys that have been doing it. I just want to see a scrimmage again before we do it. And uh, through the course of you know, uh, next week, we'll uh, remove quite a few of the guys that uh, have been doing a great job at camp. What do you see more from Trey Sneed compared to what he showed in the spring? What's he showing now? I understand of the offense. He plays faster. And he played pretty fast in the spring, too. He, he's a mature kid for uh, a freshman that came in early. But his mental understanding of the offense, um, the techniques, pass protections, uh, he's definitely a further ahead because he was here last spring. And you see him playing faster because of it. How did you go about recruiting Zane Camp as a guy who came over from a B3 school? How did, how did that process go about? Uh, I wasn't here. Ah. Yeah, Zane uh, was here when we got here. Right. Um, and uh, he was a kid that was at corner when we got here. Uh, he's had a great off season, uh, put on a bunch of weight, and we moved him to safety. and. Uh, you know, he's a walk-on that's going to help us uh, on game day. Uh, we've got several, you know, guys like that that, uh, you know, and I've been around that a lot when I was at Wisconsin. We had tons of walk-ons that ended up helping us win a lot of football games. And right now I see, um, you know, several walk-ons out there that are uh, helping us in our two deep or will be helping us on special teams, and Zane's one of them. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Yep. Thank you, guys.